Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared another probability problem for you. Three unbiased coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting at most two heads? And imagine that each box represents one throw, so one empty box, second and third, because we throw coin three times. And the first time we throw, we can get two variants, whether it can be heads on tails, so two variants here. Second time we throw also, it can be heads on tails, two variants here and two variants here. So now we can multiply all this uh, variants in three attempts and we are going to get eight. So total number of combinations, how we can get uh, three coins, combinations of heads and tails would be eight. So now because number is not that big, let's list all these combinations. The first combination would be that all three tosses we do, we get uh, tails. So first attempt tail, second and third. Next would be when we will get one tail and two heads. So tail, heads and heads. Again, another variant would be heads, tail, and heads, and heads, heads, and tail. So this is going to be four combinations. Another variant would be two tails and one head. So two tails and one head. And we also may have three such combinations. And the last combination would be that all three, uh, three uh, throws would be heads. So first time, second time, and third time we would have heads. So now we have listed all eight variants with all three tails, with two heads and one tail, with two tails and one head, and all three heads. Now let's pay attention to our question. What is the probability of getting at most two heads? This means that we can exclude this variant because it doesn't meet requirements of our problem because here we have three heads, but we can only choose between at most two heads. For example, uh, here we have one head, one head here, one head here, at most two heads, also uh, these variants uh, meet requirements of our problem, and even when we don't have heads at all, still meet requirements of our problem. So out of eight variants, seven would meet requirements of our problem. So seven eights would be our answer and this is answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.